This is Charter Local Edition. My name is Brad Pomerantz, and we are joined by Suki Kang. He is the former mayor of the city of Irvine. He is running for the California State Senate, the 29th Senate District. And I'm inspired by this book that he wrote. It's called The Power of Possibility, My American Journey. And it focuses upon the fact that Mr. Kang was the first Korean American mayor in a major U.S. city. And you're just Suki Kang, and you were the first Korean American mayor of a major American city. Well, who would have thought that 23 and a half year old young right. man coming to the United States and afforded a great family mm. and uh, uh, conduct my own business and could become the mayor of a major city. What made you decide to get involved in politics in the first instance? And I will say you were elected to the Irvine City Council right. in 2004 and then elected mayor in 2008. So what even brought you into the political four in 2004? Going back to 92 mm. when uh, LA riot right. um, happened, uh, as one of the very small community members as a Korean American, mm. I witnessed the all those 750 right. businesses just burning down to the ground were overnight. You, were you living in Los Angeles then? No, right. but I was watching TV. Right. And we remember from the riots that Korean Absolutely. Uh, stores were targeted. Of course, Koreatown right next to South Los Angeles and so easy access and a lot of um, tension surrounding that time. So that was the first time I ever felt that as a Korean American, you need a voice. Mm. You are indeed a, a, a Korean American. What are you going to do about but it? But did that time sour you on the American dream? Make you nervous? That was a wake up call. Okay. And uh, I think that really um, uh, promoted uh, or actually gave me a, uh, an indication that you need to get involved. Mm. And that's when I started getting involved with the uh, Korean American community. Right. And then 2004, I had a chance to uh, run for public office. And I think about the city of Irvine. What a wonderful city that has really grown up in a way that who would have thunk? You know, UCI. That's right. Or is it University High School? Is that, I mean, I University know. University High. Yeah, it's one of the best high schools in the state. Right. I mean, just such a great community. Yeah. So when I uh, actually decided to run for public office, I had no name ID. Right. Um, I didn't know how to run a campaign. So I learned uh, from my experience that, hey, you always go back to the basics. Mm -hmm. So I started walking door to door. So for five months, three or four uh, hours a day, I reached out to over 20,000 homes. And after knocking on 20,000 doors, people started talking, wow. Suki Kang. Suki Kang. He's right. a hard working man. <laughs> let me ask you though, you're running in Irvine yes. in Orange County, right. which has traditionally been a Republican stronghold. Yes. It's hard to deny that it's moving a little bit to the Democratic fold, but not that much. Yet you as a Democrat were successful in the city of Irvine, both as a council member and as a mayor, I know you run nonpartisan, mm -hmm. but still, people know. Absolutely. W what's the formula for a Democrat winning in Orange County? Uh, my character is uh, always, I'm looking for a consensus building opportunities. Mm. Uh, I try to bring people together. Uh, because before politics, this is about the well-being of the community. And that is my principal thought whenever I do something, the policy, community outreach, and that really uh, made it happen for me. And when I uh, went out, I mean, just, just like what I said about 20,000 homes walking door to door, they trusted you that this is a kind of man that we want to rely on leading our policy for our city. But now you are running for a seat. That's right. That has almost one million people in it. There are states right. smaller than California State Senate districts. Right. And what's interesting about your district, it's one of few since the Independent Commission took over that straddles three counties. That's right. You have wonderful cities in Orange County, in LA County, and even in San Bernardino County. Right. How do you get your message out to a million Californians in three different counties? 
Well, I am planning on walking door to door once again. How? Um, <laughs> well, so 16, 16 cities uh, right. within the uh, this district. So practically, I won't be able to walk the entire right. uh, 16 cities. However, we are building a high propensity uh, of voter uh, of district so that we can go and visit those folks who year after year they vote. What's fascinating to me about your race, this is a seat that is currently held by the former GOP state Senate leader, Bob Huff. Right. It is a seat that is now seen as a swing seat. Mm -hmm. Who would have thunk the Bob Huff seat would be seen as a swing seat? Your likely Republican opponent, Ling Ling Chang, um, was basically cajoled into running for the seat. Right. She is an assemblywoman in a fairly safe Republican district mm -hmm. because there is a perception that this seat, in the right year, could swing to the Democrats. What is it about this seat that all of a sudden it's fallen into a target zone? Well, first of all, it's an open seat. And when Mr. Huff ran in 2008 for the first time, mm -hmm. it was uh, mainly a, an LA-based district. I see. After the redistricting, it changed the whole political landscape. I understand. It became 72% Orange County. But shouldn't that make it a more Republican seat, arguably? Not necessarily. The voter registration is changing rapidly in right. that district. And uh, right now we are at probably about 2 to 3% Here, difference. Here's what's also fascinating. Ling Ling Chang is of Asian descent. Right. Suki Kang is of Asian descent. It is likely that the person who sits in the 29th Senate District will be of Asian descent. <laughs> Is, what does that say to you? Uh, mainly, I think the uh, Asian American uh, is growing right. um, uh, by leaps and bounds. Well, we know that for yeah. sure. Uh, and yet, also, when you have a good, qualified Asian American candidate who can properly represent the district, that's who is going to win but the election. The, the, the areas in Orange County that are covered by the seat aren't known as, quote, Asian areas. It's not Westminster or Garden Grove with large Vietnamese populations, for example. The LA County areas, Diamond Bar, I know, has a decent sure. sized Asian um, American community. Uh, that being said, we look at Asian American voting trends. Right. You know better than I. 30 years ago, Asian Americans were firmly Republican. Right. Today, Wow, they are turning Democratic in a big way. President Obama, I think, got about 80% of the Asian American right. vote. At the same time, the Republicans did put three Asian American women in the state legislature. Last year. Last year, Ling Ling Chang, Janet Nguyen, and... Young Kim. Young Kim, all from Southern California. Right. So lots of countervailing trends. Right. So what do you make of that? Which is, I, I love it. Mm. I love competition. Right. And also, somebody with a good qualification, with a credibility, solid records of accomplishment and the vision that you can display to your uh, constituents. So what, what's your vision? How do you distinguish yourself from your probable opponent? My vision from the day one, since I landed uh, in the land of opportunity, right. <laughs> was giving back to the country. Mm. This country has been so good to me, my family, and my community activities, and my service to, uh, to public office. So I want to continue my public service to the community by reaching out to more people. And that is my main reason for running for uh, state senate. Of course, I combine private and public sector businesses. I can bring those experience to the table and being able to bring people together to come up with a solution. His name is Suki Kang. He That's is it. a candidate for the 29th State Senate District in the beautiful state of California. The election will be held in June 2016. My name is Brad Pomerantz. This is Charter Local Edition.